and Sam Surridge both left the field in their 3-0 win in the Champions Cup on Thursday in the Dominican Republic. New York hand debuts to two Swedes alongside Forsberg, Noah Ayler, a close season arrival from Malmo. And we are ready to go in Music City, Nashville. It's our soccer, it's Major League Soccer in a new era. Beginning for the New York Rebels on the road in Nashville. The home team have never beaten them. To shy away from what I call the grit and the grind. There'll be emphasis at the start just to play simple. And here's Forsberg with his first shot, and he's dangerous from that kind of range as well. In all competitions, in the Red Bull variety in Germany. There's free kick signals by our referee Christian Capo Hernandez, and it goes. It's a big misses. Play restarted there with an uncontested drop ball. That was because the ball struck the referee unintentionally. What I would say, it was hot and cold. The flick on by Forsberg. It's Manuel in behind, and that's Manuel. It's tipped over by Joe Willis. Forsberg's clever flick on, and the Red Bulls with the first real sight of goal. He is so important for today, Tony. Teal Bunbury, what a ball this is. Over the top looking for Van Zandt. And he's got it past Joe Willis. It's on the inside of the post. It's cleared away. And it doesn't appear to cross the line. Dante Van Zandt. About Von Zandt is here. What a terrific ball this is behind. The right weight on it. Puts Von Zandt right in his stride. He clips it past. Oh, that's a high boot from Davis. And the hand has gone. To the pocket for a red card for Sean Davis, and the former New York Red Bull skipper is sent off on the opening day of the season. And after review, he's going to the other pocket, and the red card is ruled out. And Sean Davis is done, he's not done. It's a yellow card for Nashville's captain. Overturned. And Willis stretching, and this is almost loose for, well, now Manuel. Trying to turn and losing the ball into his own feet. Dylan Nealish was in there and was about to get the shot away, but set up for the striker. Probably the smart move. Helps it wide to the right for Nealish. Strouds there short. Back for a mile. Lovely touch. And again, it's Joe Willis who makes the save. To help close down space a little bit quicker. Vontes crossed the near post. That's Mayer away. Vontes won it back. And for a proud force play. Willis with the save again, he's now becoming absolutely key for Nashville today, their goalkeeper. Still the pressure comes from the visiting and rampant Red Bulls at the moment. And Duncan gets it back in play with the throw, this is Wheel. Bunbury, and with that, the referee brings an end to the proceedings in the first half this season opener and a big 45 minutes ahead for both these sides Red Bulls dominating the first half Nashville narrowly escaping going down to 10 men Red Bulls playing from left to right in the second half being central able to run into either channel and work off of Teal Bunbury's flick-ons Nashville's record on opening day and the numbers of the first half and still 42.9% probability now of a, a tie and a draw between these two sides. Headed away by Wheel. That's on Zaire, who's looked so lively so far. And Shackmore away. Now Bunbury has got to try and stand up to Sean Nealis. He's won a free kick for his brother consummate pro and what he has shown tonight the right attitude as well he's been terrific for, alongside Ila just their distances together making sure that every time Tim Bumbery is going in to try and flick the ball in the absence of Messrs Mukhtar and Surridge and indeed are not fully fit Walker Zimmerman or indeed Dan Lovitz time scales still uncertain really for those players Washington the deep ball and Bumper goes up with the header. Conway is there to make a simple catch. Forsberg stands over the corner. Three Red Bulls players inside the six yard box. Nealis was going for that one. Oh, then was trying to get away. He was Carl Duncan. Zimmerman on the pitch. 
but also another big part, it gets those two wing backs forward. Maya running at them and shooting and he hits the crossbar. Jones may well have just got something on it to turn it onto the woodwork. And Joe Willis, a terrific save as Red Bulls again, they win the first, they get on the ball and Maya, he catches all of this. It's Forsberg, and they're off the woodwork again. They've hit the crossbar for the second time in the game. The curler, what a whip. With power behind it, it's going for the upside. It's a little more central, but he can't keep it down. Willis, he's got the big right hand across. Does he get a touch to it? But they've yet to carve out a chance. With a chance. It's games for Nashville. Three players in the box. Boyd lurking on the edge, and he slipped as he shot. It'll go down as a shot on target, you suspect. A bit of space for Dylan Miles, and now Forsberg. And that's good control, and then the shot straight at Joe Willis. We've got just over six minutes left of regulation at Geodis Park. Run to the near post, and then McNaughton was there, but an important touch in from a ripple head. And then it's drilled back by Boyd and tipped over the top by Carlos Coronel. Third quarter in succession. Boyd, Zimmerman up there, Coronel got something on it. Anunga hits that. He's only scored one MLS goal. And that is it. The New York Red Bulls come into Nashville and maintain their unbeaten record against the team from Music City.